Just win, baby. We knew some preliminary requirements right up front. We knew there was a desire for metal. There was a desire for light. There was a desire for a show and a spectacle. We pared it down to about three ideas. We bring our engineers in early because we have a relationship we've built with our engineers where they understand the early stages. You cannot go near a project like this using only traditional fabrication techniques. The geometry is too complex. The coordination is too complex. The manufacturing processes are too complex. By modeling the project digitally and leveraging digital fabrication, our client has essentially already seen the product. So the client is able to immerse themselves in VR. They can see the sculpture. They can talk about details. We can actually be in the space at the same time as the client, which has been huge. Clearly, the challenge was, was the timeline, for sure. I mean, but digital fabrication helped us out with that huge key. This has not been done before. There's only one of these. The entire project was within a sixteenth of an inch of tolerance based on the unique challenges that Clark County imposes on structural features such as this. It needs to be able to withstand up to 105 mile per hour winds within a certain deflection. So with tolerances uh, that are that tight is the only way that we could achieve that specification. At every single turn and at every different level of that assembly, the center of the gravity shifted. So we had designed these specialty lifting rigs that had calculated the center of gravity so that it would lift perfectly. It's definitely the easiest install that I've ever worked on in my career. This project definitely sets a new precedent for number of people that you have to coordinate in order to make sure that all the details are truly satisfied. Involving those people when we did and how we did paid off because when we installed it and the inspectors came, it was just good to go.